today we're at the University of the West Indies Mona campus and we're here to interview some students from the Glenmuir High School here on a math marathon. I came to them and asked them you know how they felt how they felt about Cape, what they thought would be some of their difficulties and how they would deal with them. This is what they had to say. What are some of the difficulties that you think you're going to face taking on the Cape exams? Well, one difficulty I face in preparation is lack of material. For example, like past questions and other questions to work. When I think about the difficulties, it's more like the volume of work that I have to complete. Like the subjects each have a lot of requirements and covering everything in order to ensure that you're prepared for the exam is something that I have to think about and work on. The interpretation of the question because we understand from last year he likes to make the questions as ambiguous as possible so I think you are cheat us all the way. That's the greatest thing. How are you studying? That way, that way first. So we're like, what is the In the textbook, go through the um, examples and the exercises that they oh, well, um, show us. Practicing. Reading beyond what was taught at school and reasoning that doesn't sound very teachers. And what would you guys say is your hardest subject right now? I know everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's that's hard. Hard is really hard. Right. Well, the hardest is to look for being a one of the person who is going to get the hardest supposed to be. Yes. Physics. Yeah, physics. Yeah. But I still love physics, but I think I'm just going to do everything. Physics. Yeah. Take out a lot. From the students of Lemur High School. They said they're having difficulties covering the volume of information, interpreting the questions, and just problems with managing their time. For those of you who are having the same problems, science students have a series of marathons at the University of the West Indies in chemistry, math, and physics. Trust me, it's something you don't want to miss. For more information, you can check our Facebook page or the links below. Once again, this is Ike Chuko Ojiro, signing out for Hanging Out with Science Studio. Thanks for your time.